hello everyone in this video i will be taking a look at awesome window manager and configuring it i have not taken a look at before i have heard it's a great window manager just configured in dua i'm a dwm past user so i've earlier used qtile and vspwm both are very great window managers i'm not tried awesome so i've done only a few things like installing awesome and moving the config here so for default config of uh, awesome is slash hc xdg awesome and an rc you have to move this to dot config awesome so awesome directory won't exist by default so you need to make awesome directory in dot config folder so i have just done that so you can see i have an rc file here so it's a lua programming file so that's it and the first thing i've noticed that the default layout is floating <laughs> it was awful for me and uh, like it's still floating here i think i have to check uh okay this floating one there floating here 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 and here and so these are five floating here table of layout to cover the offer level order matters okay order matters then i can put up the tile about uh, floating actually i do not want to use these layout i also don't use the tile left tile bottom tile top layouts but uh, i just have in just in case if i ever use them so i have to restart also mod controller if i am not wrong mod controller okay it restarted awesome and now the layout is tiling so it's my first victory in awesome currently so it uh, i was right i was right i didn't even read the man page i've just opened the arch wiki page of awesome i've not done anything yet um i think just start with the configuring the bar I think we can start just reading them. So it's some importing stuff here. Error handling, handling runtime errors, variable definition. Okay, I think I just got it. Default is X term. I think I can turn it to a lack pretty, which is my term elevator of choice. And nano to new OBM. So I'm currently editing my file in new OBM only. So that's why. You can see this file mod controller and mod enter. That's fine, I think. Now. Moving more around the configs here. That uh, um. I think I do not need the keyboard layout. Uh, I think that's the keyboard layout only. If I'm not wrong, keyboard layout where the where the here is. I do not need this. I do not need this. And uh, this is only comment out. If I'm not wrong, if I'm the mod controller. I hope everything is just right. Yeah, I can't see the command anymore. That uh, you are seeing, I literally do not need that thing. And uh, I hope I'm right now. Uh, I think I can uh, convert any window as. Uh, if it was something like oh yeah okay then move on from mgkl mod fjkl hjkl actually and i can okay that's fine i will try it later on but uh, the new thing here that i do not need this title bar anymore um 
title bars I'm just trying it out I'm not sure if it's really right or not and just move that thing also here. more control R and yeah we have removed the title bars wow <laughs> it is not that hard to configure first of all I do not need this um, what this bar is called menu bar no I don't think it's menu bar V bar I think it's called V bar only yeah yeah I saw that V bar position equals to top I saw it somewhere yeah create the V box awful dot V bar position equals to top so if I do it bottom just to check it out I'm not sure bottom is would be working or not if I just do it yeah it moved to the bottom so like I like bars on my top only but actually I need to configure that so let me find any V bar instance here. Any V box will also find. V box will be also related to that. And uh, I do not need that thing here. So it will be my launcher. Yeah, it moved that. So I was right. So I actually doesn't also need a sister. I don't use a sister. So I do not need that. Yeah, sister is also new and layout box. I think it's that only. Would I ever need that? Probably not. So, so I think I can remove that and uh, remove all the other layouts also. <laughs> and yeah, the bar is kind of now minimal now. I think uh, I should have gaps now. Like I can't figure it out like by hand that are there any windows or not because I have set alacrity very transparent. I'm not uh, actually don't run up uh, something like Pycom or uh, Compton. Actually it's my config of alacrity to become it uh, zero percent opaque. Um, and alacrity is YAML and i have actually set the uh, background opacity to 0 0.3 if i do it 1.0 which i and th that color don't like um, yeah finally the space for work i don't like that color like it would be easy now to find out but i actually like the 0 0.3 color only yeah this is my favorite color <laughs> of the uh, terminal so i think i will also need caps let me find i also don't need this right click menu okay there are many menu there i think i can search it from open terminal open terminal yeah i figured it out and no no there is no something like that when i would do the right click it would tell me oops an error appeared it's at line 197 if i'm not wrong yeah mod control r yeah nothing happens if i do a right click now on uh, the error goes away so if there any my main menu show mod w yeah mod w I can do this thing also. Is there any instance of that also? Yes. And now there is no more any instance of that. So mod W doesn't work. I hope I have removed every instance of that. I don't don't use a right click menu. I think I would now need some key binding change. Would I uh, require that or not? I'm not sure. And are there some Windows rules? Window rules actually actually don't use uh, these floating client views now actually don't need them so i can move these floating rules if I, i'm just trying it out if there is any wrong i can remove that yeah 
nothing happened at all so i think i'm right okay uh, now it's like a 451 so i removed like a hundred lines that <laughs> so i made it more minimal and uh, like the bar is only that amount that i need at in a bar mostly so so bar is not like uh, the things i think i would need some key binding change i'm not sure if i need any and uh, from the right click menu earlier when i was uh, doing some bit, bit discovery i found this here so if you do mods s and you will find this head section and it's a key binding type of sheet sheet and it's very powerful like oh my god it there are many on there so control so para to reload awesome so help mod x what is mod x runner lua code i'm not sure about this lua code but control super enter I'm not sure about that move jump to urgent client if uh, i will tell it you later but uh, urgent client is something like uh, something just got a notification type of thing it would be considered as a urgent client it usually has a color like red or dark color uh not very dark just to show like something like red is just fine so mod is here you can see the is here i don't need this tmux session things tmux is no tmux i'm not sure why this tmux kind of thing is showing to me i'm literally not sure uh also i do not need this bar so i think And now it's time to view the arch wiki page of person. So, but uh, there in gap section here, removing window gaps and on that there in gap. Yeah, we have gaps. I think I can put this in the end of the file. Usually configurations are put at end, and I'm not sure if it's wrong. And I will read it. Oh, what happened? I'm not sure. What I pressed. Mod Control R. And yes, we have gaps now. And uh, I think for board papers, I do not need them. I usually have nitrogen. Uh, I think I should set some apps for auto start also. So I will search auto start and auto start auto start. Awesome dot spawn dot with underscore shell. Awesome dot spawn under uh, dot with underscore shell. And if I do nitrogen minus minus restore, I am literally not sure what I am doing right now. And uh, actually, my sorry for that uh, keyboard here. It's actually restored. Mod Control R. No, it's giving me an error. Now, also dot spawn dot with underscore shell is giving me an error. Actually, the bar has also messed up. And yeah, it's now working fine. Let me find. I think that's the command to start here. But I, I think I also use that thing also. What I wrote. Okay, actually it's awful. Actually, I thought it would be awesome. It's awful. I'm not sure why that uh, thing is there, but like awful. But there would be some reason. And yeah, I have my wallpaper. My tux logo. See this cute log wallpaper. <laughs> Uh, many of those actually I found from a YouTuber named Max. Um, uh, you can check it out. M A K C K C. You can check it out. Some then changing keyboard layout, theming. I put uh, I put them later. I didn't show the V boxes, so I can paste this. I'm not sure if I'm doing it right or wrong. No, I'm doing it wrong. So the command was awful dot key, awful dot key, 
and I think I have to put in this box. And I have to tap this out. Yeah. Mod controller and uh, yeah. So mod B, yeah. Mod B now toggles the bar. That's kind of cool functionality to have. Screenshot. Uh, I would uh, keep it a key binding to for flame shot GUI. Actually, I have not have flame shot running in the background. And now, if I do a flame shot GUI, then no, no, it will give me a screenshot prompt. I will do it later on. Transparency. I do not need. Then I don't use Kongi. I don't use what B boxes. I'm not sure. Widget spacing, image magics, application directory, menu bar. Oh, that's cool. I think I can have that functionality just for checking out. So I can uh, go to my like I've configured it a lot. So that's not a beauty pop-up menu what is that I'm not sure application menu title bar battery notification yeah I need that actually need that and I need something like to show my battery here actually I use SL status in uh, something like uh, DWM to show my battery percentage and uh, I'm not I was trying to use Dunst with the batteries currently because because it doesn't give me battery notification when my battery is below 15% so I could find my charger and go so so see this blog post I actually need them awesome window manager with hack from awesome configurations on widget library is awesome that can be used blah 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 and discharging charging capacity awesome timer call it every two minutes in each call it will detect the status of the capacity below 10 percent discharging the awesome will be then naughty <laughs> that's kind of <laughs> fancy name like i i'm not sure if these names are very great or not i think above the end at the RC Lua so I'm not sure what my battery is currently so I can't check it right now if my battery is like but I uh, it was telling some stuff also so I actually need th those type of stuff I was trying to do with it uh, like turns but it was not working properly so mod controller I'm not sure about my battery status. I'm not sure what the command is to, to see the battery. I just uh, just does my searching skills and uh, found that uh, there are some types of is in some build of SL status. So I'm not sure if I can find the command in my config dot edge. Like there's nothing. So that's a battery state and battery percentage. I'm not sure some bad zero no nothing like that i'm not sure if it's working or not but at this point of time it is, hasn't given me an error so that's fine local f capacity what that file is cat slash sys class power supply bad zero capacity 20 okay my battery is at 20 percent i think i can do that thing that's cool but right now what i will be doing here that uh, i've got battery stuff debugging what is that awmtt i'm not sure lock me intelligent manual character scrot stuff 
duplicate many entries um like uh, it's the end of this is there any man page for the awesome it didn't install any man page for awesome but at least that's fine that's not a big deal it's giving me a notification on bottom left i uh, prefer it at my top right i'm not lying but i prefer it on the top right i'm not sure if there's in top right stuff in lua i'm not sure about that i think at mod pi i think i can bring something like demon instead so i think i need to check the key binding how can i do that also i have to set some key bindings here is there any something like launch launching something like i can copy this paste it here and if i do this here do a d menu underscore run and uh, remove these two lines mod controller no it doesn't like that thing i think there is a media control section here also i actually no need this because i have such a set it in my sx hkd rc i think i can just add sx hkd in my file not actually i open my config dot i think i should open my sx hkd rc so yeah i actually have this i think that can be useful for this case so actually have this in my uh, zenit rc file that command yeah that's the command here so awful dot spawn underscore dot with underscore shell and add this command no command now actually i commented this all out just to check it out if everything is working fine or not because it won't be a very original uh, thing i have to also start up lx session and flame shot flame shot is a uh, screenshotting utility flame shot and uh, and another is lx session lx session is a pocket manager i usually do not need a pocket manager but if sometimes i need them uh, just for that i can because i don't use a graphical package manager i use like command line most of the times so if you don't have enable something like lx session then it will want to ask for your password and would already said authentication feed so it's not a very good experience the cell status on don't need turns i think there's a default here i think i do not like this behavior of awesome i think it's called sloppy focus if i'm not wrong yeah it's sloppy focus only so if i remove these lines here would we'll read this yeah i like this instead so i'm not sure if it has something like that i can check from whatsapp but not right now <laughs> battery bonding things i think everything is set up right now but not the mod p things okay yeah i know right now actually i bring up my 6 hkd rc now and uh, i just found out that it doesn't need anything so i can remove the mod p thing here mod key p if i'm not wrong no i can't find that i think i do not need this mod r also one that mod r is like this and it is more uh, bad like i can't even see that what is happening so i don't need this one and uh, what that prompt was 
I think I do not need this mod X also one. That's useless. And I just have found that money bar also. Mod controller. No. It uh, I think yeah, I think I need this brackets there. Mod controller, okay. Two fifty six. Two fifty six. What's that? They were in the startup. I think I can just do some undo stuff. And now just removing this would give me an error. No. Just removing this would it give me an error? Yes, it would. So doesn't it like that? <laughs> okay, I got that. I got that. I just saw that there's a comma in there but not a comma in there so if I remove this and remove that comma also there here yeah, it doesn't give me an error now so mod control in uh, offer dot client dot list what that does mod control in mod control in I'm not sure what that does so it won't be very useful me me so I can remove that and remove the commas from there. So it is not giving me an error right now. Now the next thing we have to do here is, I think I need a floating mode also. Just in case if I ever need the floating layout, mod control space. Yeah, it brings a window to floating, and it's can't even see that thing very black <laughs> it's fine I think I can change some control to actually shift um, some control stuff here was in control is control so control spacing here actually I like more shift space instead mod is mod control return it is on some windows no it's not working mod control return what be that useful mod t Morty, I'm not sure of most of the key binding what it does. Okay, actually, it's mod T is this, and mod M is this. What is mod O? Mod O doesn't also work anything for me, so it won't be useful. Mod shift space. I think it would give me an error. I think I just did many changes and didn't restart it even once. Yeah, there is an error. There is an error. So let me see where the error are coming. So mod control space to mod shift space. Not shift, I think this shift, yeah. Still giving me an error. Why that? And now it's fine. Okay. I'm like configuring awesome for like 30 minutes now and mod control and to restore the minimize mod and to minimize that why would someone do minimize their windows is there any need there is no need to minimize their window there 
why is there so many mini mad stuff there? Modern. I hope that. I'm not sure why the error is always like an expected ending like they're not very good errors um, again okay I think I got it I removed this section but didn't remove that comma there so comma remove that comma do a mod control R. I think I can just close this head on because it always spring above the first window and it's blinding white. <laughs> I do not like that blind bite stuff. I think something like mod ship space. I don't need that. Mod space. Increase master, decrease master. Increase the number of master clients. Decrease the number of master clients. Mod control edge. Mod control edge. Mod edge. I'm not sure what are they actually doing. I think I can close them and mod control edge 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 that's not useful for me I don't have any layouts more increase mod control L this it actually does it like I've only seen mod H and L working can't see them working I'm not sure if they're actually working or not but mod shift L let's try shift this time Actually, I do not need this key binding. Mod L. I don't need that. <laughs> so just remove this comma here actually i oh my god oh my god oh my god uh, mod hnl works right so why i'm removing them right this is just fine the restart here I don't like the default restart I like the shift one shift to restart is just fine for me does mod shift R doesn't does do anything I'm just checking it out I think no no it doesn't do anything mod control r to restart now mod shift r to restart here yes mod shift r now it does restart it and i think i've considered awesome at the level that i can actually use it i pretty like awesome at this point of time and i'm not sure whether after the restart 
yeah now the volume just changed like the volume would have then changed earlier so now it's very great okay. I don't like the default font here so if I can change the font no I think I should try and open the browser here I think you can guys saw that thing also there if I close that again and be yeah, brave yeah you can see that thing that thing is called uh, urgent window so if I do mod you it would bring me to the urgent client but for now it's very bright I think I need to change the font there will be more, no font matches that's for changing like this now using a different panel I do not think title bars okay that's fine and that's it I think I would just doing some more stuff with awesome in meanwhile I think there's another documentation also like uh -huh, you guys can see but I'm typing fire because just yesterday I switched to brave so <laughs> it's like called habit and it's still on me so is there any awesome documentation and you can see guys awesome docs yeah this will be the And there are some stuff there like I would give them a look tomorrow's or some other day but for now bye guys